Muslim community groups are accusing the FBI of extreme bias. They claim the agency's anti-terror training enforces negative stereotypes. Come aboard, Denise Whitaker talked with those leveling the accusations about their demand for an investigation. I felt as if I had been invited to someone's house and then the host started calling me bad names. Ghana Lethe explains her shock after attending an FBI Citizens Academy in Seattle designed to explain the agency's anti-terrorism efforts. Alethi says the class included this document, which says Arab states aligned with the Nazis during World War II against the Jewish people. In it, a Seattle FBI counterterrorist agent likens current-day Arab Islamist propaganda to that of the Nazis. The agent says, I would suggest that the current conflicts are a continuation of Nazi policies carried out by Arabs. There was no such alleged cooperation between Arab or Muslim countries and the Nazi regime to begin with. Alethi, a U.S. citizen, found this so disturbing, she immediately wrote the agent to complain. The Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE, is now on her side, demanding a ban on all such trainings linked to faith or any ethnic group. And we feel that these trainings are causing more profiling, they're causing bad policing. In a recent letter posted online, Seattle's special agent in charge, Laura Laughlin, says the FBI understands the importance of having strong relationships with ethnic communities. But in its letter to the Department of Justice, CARE demands a full investigation and an FBI ban on using trainers or experts who use false, misleading, or fear-producing information about any race, religion, or ethnic group. The Seattle FBI office declined my request for an on-camera interview, but the spokeswoman I reached over the phone did tell me they are now reviewing all of their training materials. In Seattle, Denise Whitaker, Como 4 News.